Now more than ever, electric vehicles are the talk of the town. With people and regulations more focused on sustainability, the future will, without a doubt, become electric. Electric cars don't have the same restraints as gas-powered vehicles, such as a heavy engine, which helps EVs reach stupendous speeds never seen before in traditional cars. With electric vehicles' popularity, companies are scrambling to hold a name for themselves in the EV revolution. Today, we'll uncover some companies you may and may not have heard of before and discuss their exciting plans in the works to create the world's fastest electric cars powering the next millennium. Welcome to Tech Archives. Neo EP9, Chinese Trailblazer. One of the most futuristic looking electric cars on this list is the Neo EP9, the flagship supercar from a Chinese manufacturer that means serious business. In wheel motors give four wheel drive. The slippery body provides plenty of downforce, and there's a total of 1,341 horsepower on tap. Exact performance figures haven't been released, but the car's 6 minute 45 second lap time of the Nürburgring in Germany gives cars like the Porsche 918 Spyder a run for their money. Claimed range is 265 miles, while the battery can be swapped directly for fully charged replacements. Though originally slated for a limited run production, it seems the EP9 will now just stand as the brand's technical showcase. Automobili Pininfarina Battista after months of teasing, Italian automotive design outfit turned manufacturer, Pininfarina has revealed its first car, the Battista. It's a sleek $2.6 million hypercar with power that lives up to its brawny sounding name, and it's sure to blow away nearly any other car in the world off the asphalt, all without using a drop of gas. Just 150 will be made. Pininfarina says the Battista is, quote, the most powerful, road-legal car ever designed and built in Italy. Considering Italy is the country that birthed the two companies most people associate with supercars, it's hard to think of a more obvious, shots-fired statement. But Pininfarina backs it up, on paper at least, with some truly mind-boggling specs. The Battista uses four electric motors, one for each wheel, to create a total power output of 1,400 kilowatts. That's the equivalent of 1,900 horsepower. Drawing power from a 120 kilowatt hour battery, 20 kilowatt hours more than Tesla sticks in the Model S or Model X, the car generates 2,300 newton meters of torque and can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in under two seconds, with the top speed north of 217 miles per hour. The Batista should also last about 280 miles on a single charge, Pininfarina says, Though honestly, it's hard to imagine anyone ever driving this thing carefully enough to come close to that. Tesla Roadster 3 Elon Musk, as he's prone to do, is making big claims for his cars, including the upcoming Tesla Roadster. Like the one he sputtered out with gormless confidence at the Roadster's three-ring rollout last November, saying, quote, the new Tesla Roadster will be the fastest production car ever made, period. Musk claims the Roadster will run from 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds, clear 100 miles per hour in 4.2, and complete the quarter mile in 8.9 with a maximum speed of, quote, above 250 miles per hour right out of the box. And that's the base model, which he hinted is only the beginning of the Roadster's performance. Three motors, two driving the rear wheels and one driving the fronts, will power the thing. Given the performance claims, a multi-speed gearbox seems likely. A 200 kilowatt hour battery pack that's twice the capacity of the largest pack currently available from Tesla, provides the juice for all that speed, acceleration, and a claimed 620 mile range at highway speeds. The thing that makes the Roadster stand out on the list is its price. While other cars are priced in the multi-millions, the Roadster is $200,000, making this electric supercar relatively affordable. The price of the Roadster and the brand name attached to Tesla will definitely play into the popularity of the release of the Roadster. Rimic C2 Rimic may have only been on the motoring scene since 2009, but don't let its relative newness fool you. The company has been making some big waves in the all-electric hypercar world. Rimic's latest creation is the C2, which boasts vital specs that read like something out of a futuristic concept vehicle destined for production in 2050. The power output is a claimed 1,914 horsepower, and it makes a Chiron humbling 1,696 pound-foot of torque. That's enough to give the Remick a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 1.85 seconds, and the kind of in-gear acceleration that is measured in blinks. Most electric vehicles tend to suffer from a major drop-off in acceleration at higher speeds. That's not the case with the C2. 
It features a pair of two-speed gearboxes at the rear, which allow it to make the most of its huge power and reach a claimed 258 miles per hour top speed. The front wheels have single-speed gearboxes of their own, and each wheel has its own electric motor, which means huge acceleration, even in slippery conditions, and the ability to actively manage the amount of power each wheel receives. Remick Torque Vectoring, or RAWTV, replaces the traditional traction control and stability management systems employed on other vehicles. This setup can apply power in precisely metered amounts to each wheel and allows the car to behave like a driftable sports car one minute or offer all-wheel drive traction the next. The car also features active aerodynamics, which adjust to provide the optimum cooling and downforce when required. Interesting design features do lend it a purposeful look, but it's the forged alloy wheels with their aerodynamic design that is the first thing to catch the eye. They're designed to smooth the airflow along the sides of the car, and the tires themselves are a custom design made in conjunction with Pirelli. The interactivity between man and machine has also been taken to the next level. There's no key, for example. Instead, the driver can interact with the vehicle with voice control, facial recognition, and a graphical interface. Driving aids have also taken a big leap forward, with rival EV companies such as Tesla incorporating many cutting-edge autonomous features into their cars, the C2 also features an advanced AI-enabled driving system. In all, it will offer level 4 autonomy. How it does this is thanks to a veritable electronic shop worth of equipment. Add to this a very precise global positioning system, and Remick claims that the C2 may well be the most sensitive and connected series car in the world. The gullwing doors incorporate the lower sills into their structure, so entry and exit are made far less clumsy than in other supercars. The rear trunk is compact but can be custom configured, and there are a number of storage solutions inside the cabin itself, including a wireless phone charging receptacle. The infotainment interface uses Remick's own design and promises to be intuitive and convenient to use. While most manufacturers are still offering glimpses of their upcoming EVs, the C2 looks far closer to reality with its first production in 2020. A total 150 units were planned, all of which have already been sold at a rumored $2 million apiece. If the final product is as good as the numbers suggest, it's not only the upcoming Tesla Roadster that has something to worry about. The C2 promises to change the meaning of the word fast as we've come to know it. At number one, Aspark Owl. Aspark is looking to start off 2021 with a bang. After spending much of the last four years teasing its all-electric supercar, the Owl, the Japanese company is finally opening up the order books for the groundbreaking EV. Japanese electric hypercar company Aspark has released some mind-blowing specs for an electric hypercar named the Owl, 1,984 horsepower plus 1,475 pound-foot of torque and a claimed 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 1.7 seconds. The near production ready hypercar is the first of what Aspark promises will be a lineup of high dollar hypercars. Providing that insane amount of power are four electric motors, what it claims is a unique torque vectoring system, and a 64 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack with which Aspark promises 280 miles of driving range. The Owl's claimed top speed is 249 miles per hour. The lithium-ion battery fully charges in 80 minutes, though Aspark says it intends to make it even more efficient in the future. Dry weight is 4,189 pounds, the carbon monocoque weighs in at 265 pounds, and the rest of the body is made up of lightweight carbon fiber. The mirrors have cameras incorporated in them. To achieve peak aerodynamics, the side glass was streamlined, and an active rear wing fully extends at 93 miles per hour to increase downforce. The Owl features a hydraulic suspension with ride height adjustable from 80 to 100 millimeters. It's fitted with carbon ceramic brakes on each corner with 10 piston calipers in the front and four piston in the rear. Customers have an option of Michelin Pilot Super Sport Cup 2 or Pirelli P0 rubber. Production will be limited to 50 units worldwide and Aspark is taking orders for the Owl at a starting price that's the equivalent of $3.2 million. For that price, each owl can be fully customized to customer tastes. Hope you enjoyed the breakdown of the fastest electric cars in 2021. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.